Bloody Kia's already. <laughs> Good numbers of Kias in here. Keep distracting. Nice little fireplace, bit of a bench, do your food prep on. And then just four little bunks. Nice cosy little hut. Should be nice and warm in here with that fire going. It's good to have the little alcove to keep your packs and gear and that in. Keep it out of the weather when it's shitty. So we're about to start the climb uphill now, so we've just got rid of all our merino gear, down to t-shirts. Well, we've still got our long johns on, but got rid of our tops. So we're five minutes down the river from the Horace Walker hut. Jeez, we're bloody puffing already. Had it even gone up. Looking back over the flat. There in the background. We just made it to the top of that little rise and this is where we're heading up into here somewhere. We're probably gonna camp down there somewhere in the tent tonight. Hopefully get some tar up there. Just popping into these little grassy areas in the gullies. It stinks of tar. They're living in the bush here somewhere. They're not up high, they're down low in this scrub. Or they're just walking in the corner and bang, there they are, anytime. We just got our first bull tar of the trip. Just spotted them. To the left of that rock on the skyline there, he was just in there. He's crossed over into that sunny gut, and at the moment he's just behind that knob there somewhere. Nice big black bull. I don't know if he's big or not, but he should pop out in there somewhere. He's about 400 metres away based on the rangefinder. There he is, he's just popped out there now. So just stop for lunch. So it's looking down there where we've come from. You can clearly see the hut now. There's the hut there. And we've climbed up behind this space here. come through this flat country through here, through these lakes, through here, down there, and then from there. She's pretty well been, whoops, pretty well been straight up. And the legs are actually going all right. First time I've done this in years.
and we're heading up there still. Still a fair way to go. That bull we saw was back over this way, so we're hoping he's going to just keep wandering this way and we'll bump into him again, but don't know. So we've just spotted our first mob of tar. Saw seven or eight animals in there. There are twelve of them. Twelve is there. Where are they? Let's see if we can get them. Quarter past two in the afternoon, they're out already sunning themselves, feeding. That black bull has just popped in. Come on. He's yeah, on again. You probably you probably he's fall, fall over. Yeah, you'll fall over, I'd say. He's swaying. He's laying down, is he? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Well, he's moving. Oh, come on. Good animal. It's got to be him down. Surely. Still moving. Yeah, he's coming down. 22 in the mob over there. No bullets in it. Good man's empty. Right, we're going to have a look. Go and see what we got. See how big he is. He might be my best bull ever. He's only got to go more than 10 and a half inches to be my best ever bull. Oh, what? Oh. As the one I got mounted at Mount Cook was 10 and a half inches. You Dad, you might be mounting a bull tar. Oh, there he is up on the bank. There's my bull. Hold up in the creek there. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. <laughs> <sighs> Same size. Beautiful big capes though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, how important it be to have that mounted up here on your on your um on your floor, you know? Yeah, yeah. Good bull. Happy with that. That's some state. My first bull tar in twenty. 20 something years, that is. <laughs> been an Aussie 24 years, 25 years I've been an Aussie.
to have just closed the gap on these tar and they're just over this rise here so I'm just going to sneak up there slowly <laughs> see if I can get some footage of them before we um, take out a couple of nannies oh, there's a couple on that rock there oh, they're scattered everywhere they're onto us they know we're here Some there. That knob there, there's a few on that knob. There's more up just on the ridge there. A couple just up here too. And where are you? There they go. Yeah, it's a young bull there. We won't be shooting him, we'll let him to get bigger. We've got a bull for the trip already and he's not, definitely not a trophy animal so we don't need to shoot him. But we do want to just shoot a few nannies just to help control the numbers. Shoot one bull, shoot five nannies, is that the... Yeah, that's what the, the say is, so if we can shoot five nannies, we're doing good. We've done our bit for conservation. I mean, this is not too horrible, this stuff here. It's, um, just tussocky country, it's, it's pretty easy to walk in but then they get up in that rocky stuff and they're just a whole nother animal, they're unreal this guy's come down through the rocks yep. there it is so we just shot a few nannies just to thin out the herd a bit one bull, five nannies. That's what, whoa. That's what the Department of Conservation want us to do. So we did our bit. And now we're gonna get some meat to take down to the, we'll take to camp anyway. It's gonna say take down to the hut, but we're not staying in a hut tonight. Look at the uh, nice winter coat on it. Beautiful. <laughs> nice heat of that one. Well, it's a young bull, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, hard to tell at that distance, isn't it? We're just taking the back stakes, the rump stakes, or the back legs, of this animal. So this is our eating animal. Beautiful. So here's your typical Skyline shot, tar up on the skyline. See this all the time in the hills. So where we are now, it's looking there down to that flat country we walked through earlier on down to the river and over to Conical Hill that's Conical Hill there Where we're heading to is down in the valley floor, down in there tomorrow night to Castle Flat. It's probably actually more to the right of Conical Hill, but the way we're going today, we're going to have a bit of a mission tomorrow. <laughs>
Well, it's all downhill from here now, kind of. We've done the hard yards. I just bumped into another mob just over this ridge. The second one to the left. Third one. Third one. See the two, one, the one on the ridge line, one below. Yeah. The one that's actually just crowned on the ridge line, you can just see the zoom in. Yeah. Big boy. Pissing everywhere. Isn't he a lot bigger than the one? Yeah, he doesn't look. You can to see the one below it, yeah? Oh, there's two balls there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I've been waiting to come out. Look at the main on that one. Far out. Look at him. Oh, he's got a bugger leg by the film. Mm. Bugger leg? Oh, I look like he's walking for me. Got a beautiful main on that one. He's an awesome head, isn't he? What's his antler size like? No. Oh, zoom's not really going properly, so. Curl him back into his mane. Just. What an animal, look at him. He'd be a good trophy, like, he'd be a nice mount. Just might not be massive horns. Yeah, he's the most mature. Big man like that. There's also a heap of tar down there as well. Where are they? Down in there. There's more down there. There with a the bull. Just getting close to being on dark. We've got about 20 odd tar just over this ridge here. There's three bulls. There's one really good bull. Looks like. I think there's four bulls actually. But he's down in a gut and we can't see him. Just sort of hoping he's going to pop back out shortly. Well, we've got enough light. He's got a really, really uh, wide spread on his horns, which makes us think that he's a pretty good animal. Plus, you know, they look, the horns look good. Look at that sunset. Tents going up in the dark because we've been on the ridge line watching the tar. Not the best spot to camp, but it's about the flattest bit of country we can find. 
Got the jet ball going. And tonight we're having that country cuisine, cottage pie. And when we get some more hot water, there'll be some mashed potato to go with it. Oh shit, I don't smell it everywhere. And um, a nice cup of tea. We were going to cook up some tar steaks, but because we watched those ones right until dark, it's um, got a bit late, so we'll have tar steaks in the barbie in the hut tomorrow night if we end up staying in the hut. The plan is to stay in the hut tomorrow night, but the weather's changing as well, and we're not too sure if the chopper's going to be able to get in to get us on Tuesday, so there's a possibility we'll fly out tomorrow night, but we'll see how we go. Nice cup of tea while waiting for that country cuisine to do its thing. Crystal clear night tonight, not a cloud in the sky. We're hoping it doesn't rain because we've pitched our tent in a water course. There's only a bit of flat ground we could find on dark. We'll be right. Well, hey, there's my shepherd's pie. It looks pretty bloody tasty actually. Decent sized feed after a hard day's yakker up the hill. We'll get stuck into it. I don't know if this is going to work, but we've got a moon bow. The moon's just coming over the hill and there's a big ring around it. Yeah, it's not working on video unfortunately. I've just taken a couple of photos of it that have worked out really nice. So I'll show you um, those now. So we've got a little bit of sleep during the night, sitting on a bit of a hill sliding off our sleeping mats into the end of the tent all night long zip on my sleeping bag shit itself so that kept popping open might got a hole in his one some bloody goose down feathers everywhere and right on daybreak one of the bulls come over and stood right there 10 meters from our tent so Mike's got himself a little ball with a nice cape on it. He's looking for a really good skin and he's got it. So that's awesome. There's still one really big bull over there. Beautiful morning. Red sky from the rising sun. So I think our mob of tar have disappeared they're right up in the middle of the stream there now I think uh, yeah right right there in the middle of the screen on the ridge line there's one mob there and there's another mob down middle of the screen right there it's a bit hard to see on the phone but there's one bull in that mob and I think there's two bulls up in that mob up there. Porridge for breakfast. He was going for the day. Mm. Put a handful of scroggin in it, so I got some nuts and some chocolate and stuff like that in it. Really good. What a place to have breakfast. Looks like the tar are grouping up over there. The mobs just come down from the top, meeting up with the bottom mob. Just made it up onto the ridge line. We can um, overlook down into the Regina Valley now. Right down in there. Out to the coast in the background. Right up high 
by now. And looking back up the valley we come out of. So that's the plateau there with the two lakes or three or four lakes on it that we crossed yesterday. And we started the huts just in here, down in the river flat, this side of that bend. And we got dropped off with a chopper yesterday morning. We camped on this uh, grassy face here. And the tar we saw were all around here. And the big bulls this morning, we think, are down and below us on our left hand side here somewhere. But we have also got tar up on the ridge line up here somewhere. A few nannies up there, but we're not interested in them. We've done our bit to reduce the nanny numbers. We've got the sun coming up, that'll be there shining on us shortly. And we're about, uh, we're quarter past nine in the morning. So we just got to hump down to Castle Flat. Mike's got to do his inspection on the way on a couple of bits of structure on the way. And inspection of Castle Flat hut. And then the weather's due to turn tonight slash early tomorrow. So we're thinking we're possibly going to fly out tonight. See how we go. Conical Hill. Looking down into the river. So these tar have come over into here somewhere. I'm not too sure where they are. Probably on one of these faces below us. So we've just down, come down from up there. And that there is where we're heading. That's looking down into the hut at Castle Flat right there. So we've just got onto our mob again. So they've dropped down into this bluffy stuff. Oh, there it is. Sitting there. We might be able to get across through there, but we're not going to shoot them. We're just going to leave them. Leave them for another day. We've got a bull each. So it's been a successful trip. Not a trophy. Would have been nice to take a trophy home, but... destructive beaks and what causes the problems ripping tents to bits taking your boot laces the rubber out of your windscreen in your car if you're parked in an area where there's keyers a little bit of gnarly rock I don't know if this is a track or not but this is the way it might goes Hopefully my pack doesn't fall off when he moves his one. Because it's a long way down to get it. Territory. That's where the tar hold up in the weather. Just sitting in little little bits of overhangs like this, and they just stay out of the wind and the rain. And, yeah. Track down off the hill. Okay. Pretty steep, but it's not a bad track. The purpose of this trip is not actually hunting. Mike's 
track and hut inspector for the Department of Conservation and we've been inspecting all the infrastructure and huts on the way. So one of the things he needs to check over is this swing bridge or this wire rope bridge. So that's what he's doing at the moment. Going through his checklist, making sure it's still safe. So we made it down to Castle Flat. It's the hill we've come down off. That one in the middle of the screen there. Castle Flat Hut. Four bunker. Six bunker, mind you. Make that six bunker. Fireplace. Kitchen bench. Token rat shit. Running water. Nice. So last time I was in here, climbed up into here and had a bit of a shoot up on some nannies and we also climbed up that ridge there I think and shot uh, over on that face there 